No, well, yes. She said it was a yacht. It was um, a 16-foot inflatable dinghy. Yeah, all right. <laughs> it's the truth! Somebody must have lost him. Someone's going to see this now and claim him, right? <laughs> Move in. <laughs> Probably so. I hope I can talk to him, but... Uh, have you ever met him? No, I never have. <laughs> no, they throw um, money, would you believe it? Really? Yes. No, either. And this probably won't help, oh, but... No. <laughs> we want to help you launch your movie career and... Very pretty. Is that for me? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Here you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I think I really don't know. He's got no teeth. I know that. <laughs> you bet. Did you have comedy parents? I mean, you know, did they get laughs? <laughs> Not I'm until I was it. born. <laughs> Look, I'm serious. I'd really love being old. And then to live way past it like you would be fantastic. <laughs> Now, Andy's a little bit in shock. He uh, had never seen that tape before. No, I've never seen that tape before. You didn't like it. <laughs> How's it going down there? It's going better than that. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, was, I think if a burglar came to the house, he'd let them in and show them around. You know? <laughs> Friendly Come old here. guy. Let me show you the uh, candelabra. You think this is good? Come look at the piano. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've got a few thousand dollars over here in the drawer. No? Then how do you explain this one? My eyes must be slipping. Who is that gorgeous, sexy hump? <laughs> Madam, that's me. I know it's you. I was talking about the day. <laughs> well, look what's written up. Dear Madam, a thousand thank yous for a thousand wonderful nights. Love, Andy Gibb. Oh, Andy, how nice of you to write that. <laughs> it's written in your handwriting. Well, how nice of you to learn how to write like me. <laughs> That's a real sign of love. <laughs> Madam, I don't know what I'm going to do with you. Wood, it's a long way from Benedict Canyon. Went to Westwood and got on the telephone and called her. And I said, go to your front door. And she said, well, where are you? I said, I'm in Westwood. <laughs>